This company has built one of the most unique venues in modern history. Sphere Entertainment, ticker symbol SPHR, spent over $2 billion building a huge orb with a gigantic dome-shaped screen in Las Vegas. The inside of the sphere can be used for live entertainment, while the outside can be used to project art and advertising. At the latest share price, Sphere has a market cap of $1.2 billion. It's got $450 million of cash and $1.2 billion of debt for an enterprise value just under $2 billion. However, analysing the financials of Sphere doesn't provide much value for two reasons. First, financials at this point mostly come from a segment that Sphere owns called MSG Networks. This is a declining media business that owns Madison Square Gardens and has around $900 million of non-recourse debt. Second, the Sphere only opened at the end of September. That means the latest financial statements only include two operating nights from the venue, which were two sold-out U2 concerts. If we look at those nights, you can see that the Sphere generated $2.8 million in ticket sales and $1.3 million in food, beverage and merchandise across the two nights. But Sphere makes money in other ways too. It makes around 500 k for an advertising campaign and it sells tickets to its own original content like postcards from Earth which is currently generating around 1.5 million a day. It also makes money from residencies for bands like U2 and corporate events. Operating and running expenses will be high, but add it all together and analysts believe Sphere could make $700 million in revenue next year, with one analyst projecting around $190 million of adjusted operating income. At a 15 times multiple, that would value the company at $2.9 billion, which is roughly 50% upside from the current share price. However, investors also need to be aware of some red flags. Sphere Entertainment is owned by billionaire James Dolan. Dolan also owns the New York Knicks and Rangers and is among the most disliked owners in all of sport. There's a risk that Dolan uses Sphere profits to prop up his other companies within MSG networks. There's also the risk that hype around Sphere will subside. While social media has been ablaze with comments, not all reviews have been positive. Some customers have complained about high prices, and today it was confirmed that plans for a Sphere in London have been rejected. So far, the Sphere has blown people away and caught the attention of social media. If that hype continues, the company will be able to maintain high prices, negotiate deals with artists and branch out to new locations. But if the novelty wears off, Sphere might be regarded as just a slightly better IMAX, and IMAX Corp has been a particularly poor investment over the last 10 years. Overall, we don't yet know how profitable Sphere will be, but the economics of entertainment venues don't tend to be the most reliable. For that reason, I give this stock a neutral rating, but these are my personal opinions, not financial advice, and I've got no position in Sphere stock. To see more videos like this, visit my website freeminutebreakdowns.com and thank you for watching.